Hi, I'm Sebi, Developer Advocate at Ivan, and today we will focus on one particular Redis data type, Redis GAO Spatial Indexes. It is a really exciting data type. And to present that today, I will be using my cats. Yes, because I have four cats, in, in fact, six, but let's go for four now. I got Nala, I got Link, I got Scratch, and I got Toto. Those cats love to live outside, okay? In the evenings they come home, but during the days there are, I don't know where they are, okay? So let's see if we, Redis can help me with this. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so first of all, I need a Redis a server, okay? There are different options available. I went for Ivan, it's really easy to set up your Ivan service, and then you just use the CLI to connect to the uh, your server. So let's make sure it's running, ping, pong. Okay, cool. So my cats, they are in different areas of my garden and maybe outside my garden, okay? So let's imagine they have a GPS chip, which they don't have in reality, but let's just imagine. And um, I'm going to use Redis to update their geospatial location, their longitude, latitude. Okay, so what can I do for that with Redis? Let me just remove my cats. Let's go there. So um, what I have here is a command called geoAdd. Okay, geoAdd, and then I give a key, cats, okay. And then I give a longitude and a latitude and a value for the member. So for instance, I've got this position here, which is my position. Okay, and you cannot see it there, but uh, let me call it cat number six. Okay, so as it has been added. What I did before, I added different cats, okay? And one thing you have to know that when you add a geospatial index, in fact, you are creating a sorted set, which is another data type in Redis. Don't focus too much on that. There will be another video about sorted sets, but that means that I can use uh, sorted sets uh, commands to retrieve all my cats. So if I do that, I can see I have here my six cats. Cool. They all have geo uh, geospatial positions. Okay, I can do that by geopause, and then I say in cats, and let's say for cat number one. Okay, I got his uh, longitude, latitude. Cool. And then I can start doing pretty funny stuff. Like I would like to know which crowds, cats are currently in a radius around me. Okay. So what I can do is geo radius in the set cats. Okay. And then I give the longitude latitude. So that is where I'm currently are. Okay, and let me just do it again because you won't see it from here. Okay, geo radius cats this longitude, and I want this for 100 meters around me. Okay, oh, that's nice. I can see that the six cats are not too far. Let's make it smaller, let's say. 20 meters around me. Oh, cat's number six. That's the one that I just added. He's just sleeping here behind me. And uh, let's see if I do it around 50 meters. Okay, three cats. Awesome, cool. So these are the kind of stuff that I can do. One other that I can do, that, which is pretty funny, is I can do geodist. Oh, sorry, geodist on the cats. And for instance, I would like to say to see if cat one is really far away from cat two, because they don't go along really well together. So I want to make sure they have their safety um, distance between them. Oh no, that maybe means they are fighting. Let's see with cat number three. Oh, cat one and cat number three, they are um, 84 meters apart. Okay, so these are the kind of stuff that you can uh, do with geospatial. It's really, really fun. And again, remember, it's in memory. Okay, so it's blazingly fast. 
really scalable. So if you need to build, I don't know, an application to follow uh, cars, bicycles or whatever, geospatial indexes in Redis should really be an option that you consider. I'm back here with my cats. Um, thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of Ivan. And I wish you an awesome day. Bye-bye.